What's up guys? Today we're going to be stuffing another thing inside of the thing. And what might that be, JP? Breakfast inside a hash brown. Why not put that together as one? This is a versus. It's going down. Who's going to win? Me. Anything you can do, I can do better. Julia homemade. I like a good hot dog. Rock, paper, scissors going down now. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! For my recipe, we're going to start with you peeling my potatoes. And welcome to another episode of JP Peels Potatoes. I told Julia one day I want to be a professional potato peeler. She said, JP, I support you unless you become a professional potato peeler. So I have to do this as a hobby. I'm fine. Wow. That's fine. So there's finger in the potato? No, there's finger in the potato peeler. Oh, strokes. Ah, my pinky. No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I only cut the tip of it off. Are you fun of me? No. Hey guys, big thanks to Verve for sponsoring this video. If you don't know about Verve, click that link in the description and get it now because you can pretty much stream anything from this app. I would start watching Yu Yu Hakusho or Code Geass. Those are my recommendations, but make sure you try Verve Premium. With this link, we're giving away 30 free days. You get access to everything. The newest edition is Movie, which provides 30 indie movies a month, Curiosity Stream, if you're into history, tech, ancient earth, and Stephen Hawking's favorite places, and our favorite Food Wars Season 3 now available, and with Verve Premium, you can watch all your shows on the go, no internet, no commercials, exclusive content, and unlimited access to 12 must-have channels, and for a limited time, you get 30 free days on us if you take advantage of the link right here on the screen or in the description. Download the app. Also, if there's any shows you guys recommend, please let us know in the comments because I need to go on a healthy anime binge, okay? All right, now I'm back. JP has peeled all my potatoes in record time, literally in just 25 seconds of the video. He peeled all of them. Thank you, JP. Wonderful. I love doing this because normally I will cut a finger, or at least get hurt in some ways. You were so good at peeling. Are you also good at grating? Are you bleeding? No, no, I'm fine. It's sauerkraut. What we're gonna do is we're going to take this and we're gonna stick it right into a bowl of water so it doesn't oxidize. Guys, comment below if you can see the smiley face on the cheese grater. I don't know if you guys are those types of people that like fruit for breakfast, but we don't do that. We bake it. You haven't even started yours yet. I'm already ahead of you and you don't even know it. That's what you always say and then you put a hot dog in a flaming hot Cheeto. And that's how babies are born. <gasps> It's beautiful. Look how much oil came out of this thing. Save it. We'll use it to cook the eggs. Do you want to make mashed potatoes? I love mashed potatoes. Look at all that starch. See that? I think that's probably enough, too. But chow! Sausage version. Sausage, egg, and cheese. It's a match made in heaven, right next to coffee. And go into the bathroom. I think if we put two together, that'll be the perfect size. Do you like my sausages? I didn't ask you for any help with that part. But I like your sausages. So my vision is for this to look exactly like a McDonald's hash brown. This shape. Do you have any other ones? No. I'm making hash browns. Why are you eating hash browns? I got the sausage done. Got the eggs going. I'm trying not to destroy your sausage. I'll just do four. Make a lot. They look like peanuts. Always season your eggs. Your lovely assistant. I know. All right, I'll hold it. All right, cool, because my uh, sausages are done. Right now we're making eggs. Well, Julia is. I'm standing right beside her, because I got her back. You're welcome. You know, you are the best free labor I've ever had. Free labor. Yeah. You know, you are the best free labor I've ever had. Free labor. My ancestors would be so proud of me right now. Measure out about three cups of the hash brown. A couple tablespoons of flour. We're gonna dry this out. All right, I think I can work with this. It's a hot pocket made out of hash brown. Hash brown hot pockets. Hashtag hash brown hot pocket. That's what's breakfast to me. Sausage, egg, and cheese. It's like a juicy Lucy, except with breakfast inside. There it is. An oversized hash brown, is it not? Don't go to the grocery store hungry, guys. That's what happens. I'm almost done! McDonald's breakfast inside a hash brown. I got 10, I had to eat one, but we're gonna see if this works. We got a McGriddle and a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. This one's bae. Comment below which one do you like the most. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, 
I hate saran wrap. There you go, have it down first. See, this wasn't as easy as just buying a McDonald's hash browns. This is becoming laborious. Okay, that's four hash browns. It's perfect. I'm gonna go with the biscuit guy. Actually, let me go with the McGriddle. I'm just gonna eat the biscuit one. For y'all y'all that like McGriddles, this is probably gonna be the coolest thing if it works. DIY, how to repurpose McDonald's hash browns. That's what this video is gonna be called. Hashtag hash balls. <laughs> Julia's making hash balls. Look at her go. I'm helping you. So we're gonna go over this way, over this way. Really tight, guys. This way, this way. It's a ball. Freeze my hash ball. Go in the freezer. All right, so this has been four hours, about three hours. It's not completely set, but we want to see if this thing's gonna fry. Oh, I don't know, Jules. This guy, if you stay together, I'll be so happy. All right, that sucker's going in for at least five minutes. I think it's gonna fall apart. It's together. Oh it's together. Oh yeah, that guy's done. Woo! That's a hash from. This is JP's creation. Ooh. Uh oh. Pick it up. It's beautiful! <laughs> you want to know what's inside? Breakfast. I wonder if you can tell just by looking at it. Yes. You can tell? No. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That's a hash brown. Yes, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. Well, you haven't even tried yours yet. Mine's your favorite? It was good. Does that mean I win? No. I'm gonna no. take credit. We're gonna do the cross section. You can't take credit for mine. Going in for that cut. This is where the magic happens. Sausage, egg, and cheese on the inside. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I got McDonald's all up in my mouth. I think this is some type of Franken food that you just created. All right, guys, you need to vote who made it better, Julius or Mickey D's? McGrill. This thing. Uh, this thing doesn't have a name. We should call it something. What other things should we stuff inside stuff? This one was a good one. This was a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking ice cream and a glazed donut. I think we did that though. This was a successful video. I'm really curious to see who wins because honestly, McGriddle inside of hash brown is amazing. But seriously, it's all within. Yeah, you, yours is very homemade tasting Here. though. I mean, the hash brown is, is off the heezy. I love it. Get in with the egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. You have to make this. You really have to. You have to. Let us know what you guys are eating for dinner. Is this video going to go up in the morning? Yes. Well, this is breakfast for dinner for us. Uh. Ciao. Mwah.